I believe in Holton Caulfield and the book and what it was saying. What it was saying to a lost generation of phony people. We have arrested Mark David Chapman of 55 South Kukui, K-U-K-U-I Street, Hawaii, for the homicide of John Lennon. If you want to know, I mean, if you really want me to tell you about it, I will. But the first thing you probably want to know is all that stuff about my dad and what he did to my mom and me and all. The whole goddamn childhood. But I'm not gonna tell you any of that stuff. That stuff isn't important. Not anymore. just gonna tell you about what happened to me right around last Christmas. Those three days in New York City. Hey. Listen. You know those ducks? The ones in Central Park? Huh? The ducks. The ones that swim around that lake in Central Park. Do you know it? You want to go there? No. Uh, uh, well, yeah, maybe I will. It's just in the winter. When the lake freezes, where do they go? What are you saying? What happens to them? To the ducks, where do they go? Where are they now? You gotta be kidding me, right? You gotta be asking me about the ducks. All right, buddy, so where do you want me to take you? For real. I didn't know it at the time, but the whole goddamn place was full of perverts and morons. It depressed the hell out of me. It really did. Nobody in the world knew what was going on in that room, what was happening to me.
It was December and all, and I went outside and walked a few blocks north. It was this kind of a crazy cold day. No sun out, no wind, nothing. I went up to the Dakota, this strange building on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. It was like something out of the Wizard of Oz. Home of the great, the powerful. fan since I was a kid, and John is, was the genius man. Do you like his new album? Oh, he has a new album? <laughs> yeah, silly. Oh, no, wait, I read about that. It's, uh, Double? Double Fantasy. Double Fantasy. It's amazing. You know, it's really real. It's flawless, really. It's flawless. I know, I... I came all the way from Hawaii just to get his autograph. You know, you should buy it. You should buy it and ask John to sign it. Yeah, sure. I will. You'll love it. Hey, Jude, um... We were going, right? Yeah. Um, you wanted to go? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I'm Mark. Mark Chapman. I'm here to meet John Lennon. After a while, I left and walked over towards Broadway. I wanted to buy the new John Lennon album. It wasn't cheap, that's for sure. But I didn't give a damn. I get so happy when I think about that record even now. I used to love the Beatles. I still love the Beatles. I swear to God, I really do. Sometimes I felt like the Beatles music was made just for me. Standing? Does it look familiar? Oh my god. Yeah. That's here. That's here. <laughs> That's right over there. He stood right here. Look, the Yoko was over here. Pretty neat, huh? Thank you. 
ingredients. <laughs> hey, you. We were gonna go see the movie. A movie later. Hello? Do you wanna come? What? We were gonna go see a movie later. Do you want to come? Oh, uh, no. No. I hate the movies. They're phony. So goddamn phony. I mean, look at the actors. They're always clutching their foreheads and breathing deep. It's like they know they're acting and they know how good they are, and God damn it, they're gonna show you. No, I can't stand it. It drives me insane. It drives me absolutely insane if you want to know the truth. <laughs> okay. I know I can take you gals to dinner. I mean, if you want. You like Japanese food? I've been to Japan. I've been all over the world. Okay. Great, it's settled then. I take you gals to dinner at a Japanese food restaurant. My treat. All right. Bye-bye. Don't forget. for what felt like forever. But nothing happened. No one came. I thought about waiting for that girl, the fan. But I knew she wouldn't come back. No one ever does anything they say they will. It was so cold. It was scary. I felt like I was disappearing every time I crossed the street. I'm too vulnerable for a world full of pain and lies and phoniness. There were these two obvious homosexuals in the room next door, and they were loud and drunk and laughing like whatever they were doing was the funniest goddamn thing in the world. I swear to God, I was the only normal bastard in that lousy dump. Help me, devil. Kill them. Go over there and shoot them. Bitch, you cunt! 
I can't, I can't take this shit anymore. No! Taxi! You understand me? I will not fuck you with a dog. Take me someplace nice. A nice hotel. But not not too expensive or anything, just just nice. No problem. Hey, do you wanna stop and have a drink with me or something? I got plenty of money, I'll buy. No, no drinking tonight. Like rock and roll? Yeah. You like Beatles music? Yeah. Well, I have to tell you something. I just have to blurt this out. I was at a recording session tonight with John Lennon and Paul McCartney. They recorded an album together. They recorded for three hours straight. I'm the engineer, and uh, he, uh, well, they met me and they told me how much they liked my work. And uh, to me, it's just so ecstatic to think that John Lennon and Paul McCartney would, would tell me how great they think my work is. You know, from them to me, Everything at all, just... I just had to tell you that. The cabbie told me that Jimmy Carter stayed at that hotel, and when he was the president, too. He told me he did it to show everyone what a regular guy he was. I thought that was hysterical. The president staying at a regular hotel like this. <sighs> that cracked me up. I had a little bit of dough, but not so much that I could stay in a place like that forever. Goddamn money. It always ends up depressing the hell out of you. If his shadow frightens him? Six more weeks of winter. But, sir, spring can't come early. I've got to keep that castle snowbound. Oh, please, sir, don't take winter away. Not yet. It's fair enough to me, Jack Frog. I take my orders from nature. When she gives me a certain sign, I know it's my time to leave. What sign, sir? Doing fine, and how'd you know my name? You don't remember me? I was here a little over a month ago. From Hawaii? I was here to see John Lennon. Nope. Okay, well. Uh... Last time I didn't do it. Get to meet him, I mean. But I'm back. Do you know, is he, uh, is he home? Actually, I think he might be out of town. Huh.
you mind if I wait and see? Be my guest. But, uh, step back a bit. I gave a great deal of myself to what John Lennon had said and sung about and told us all to do. His music and his lyrics provided me with everything I needed. What I really love about a song or a book, if it's really good, I mean, if the writer is really talking to you, then you feel like they're this really great friend of yours and you can just call them up on the phone whenever you want. Getting it for the articles. Okay. Anything else? Oh, yes. This. I'm going to be meeting him soon. I went and read that article with John Lennon. It said all he ate was sushi and sashimi and Hershey's bars with almonds and that he smoked French cigarettes. And when they asked if the Beatles would ever get back together, he said just because a whole pile of dummies missed it the first time, he shouldn't have to be crucified again. He shouldn't have to walk on water again. He said he shouldn't have to divide the fish for the multitudes again. He really said all that. And here he was living this sumptuous life. Imagine no possessions. The bastard had millions. Yachts, farms, countryside estates, and who the hell knows what else. He turned his back on everyone. That was a tremendous confirmation for me. In case I wouldn't be able to again for a long time. Do you have anybody exotic? A woman from another country? I don't want her to talk much. I want her to be quiet. I, I'll tip her well if she doesn't talk. You don't have to be nervous. I'm not a weirdo. I just, uh, I, I wanted to be in the company of a woman tonight. Tomorrow will be a very rough day for me. You want, you want a massage?
Can we put on the radio? the color. Some things are hard to remember. Thinking now, when the woman left, I just wanted to kill myself. I thought about just throwing myself out the goddamn window. I'd like to make a collect call to Hawaii. Okay, sir. One moment, please. Whom shall I say is calling? Holden Caulfield. One moment, Mr. Caulfield. I said I wasn't gonna call, but, uh, well, you know me, I'm always changing my plans. It's okay. I'm glad you called. I'm really glad. You sound like you're doing okay. I am. I'm okay. I, I finished your book. Very good. Did you like it? I like it, too. How was your party, the one that you were going to on Saturday night? It was fun. I'm sorry I didn't wish you a happy party. I just wasn't thinking about things like that before I left. It's okay. I know. I know you. You're my husband. <sighs> it's getting so late here. I just... I can't seem to get to sleep. Well, I just got into bed and I'm reading my Bible. Maybe you should try working on your problems one at a time. Maybe the first one should be getting back with Christ again. And after that, you can just ask him for his help with the others. Hello? Yes, I agree. My little Bible is on the nightstand right now. Good. That's good. Do you remember what I told you the night before I left? Sort of. I do. I was asleep. I told you that I loved you. I love you very much, more than anyone else. I love you too. You're my gemstone. Goodbye, Glory.
like last time, something's going to happen. This is happening. That morning, everything had changed. It just felt different. And I knew. I knew in my bone that I would never see my hotel room again. I laid out the few possessions I had managed to keep. Just all the things that meant something. A letter of commendation for my work with Vietnamese children, my passport, and a couple of photographs from my trip around the world. What was left of my life? It was all so that when they came, the police or whoever it was going to be, what everyone would want to know, who I was. Who I had become. And maybe if I found myself unable to speak or something, this would tell them who I was before.
hold him. Ducks. The taxi. She had a teeny voice. And the prostitute with a green dress. This isn't like last time. The old man carried my bag. No. This is different. I can feel it. Something will catch me. This is not a coincidence. I'll be in a big field of rye. Morning. Do you know if John Lennon's gonna come out today? I've got his, his new album here and I was hoping to get his autograph. I can't help you. But I, I understand. I know how it is. It's, I've been waiting for two days already and I just, I really want to meet him, you know. Well, you see, the thing is, I'm not the regular doorman here, so I don't know much about John Lennon. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was something like that. Ha! You see, this is my second time here. Last time I thought I'd met all the doormen. I thought I met them all. For sure I thought I'd seen them all, but... I've been waiting a long time. He may have left earlier, before I came on. Somebody told me he left. John Lennon? Mm hmm John Lennon. You're serious, you're not joking. No. Do you know where he went? Do you know when he's gonna be back? Do you? No. Do you? No, I don't. No. He 
is here. It says it was Monday. A Monday, you know. Pretty near Christmas. This is it. It's real this time. This is not a coincidence. I'm going to be with you, Holden, in the rye. In the rye. I'll just disappear into the ink of the book. No, that won't happen. That's an unreality. But something will. Something so will. I'll go into the fetal position. Something, something is going to happen. I can move. May I be deaf? A deaf mute. Hold it. Yes. And I'll never speak I'm again. I'm done with the world. I tried to be a good person. I tried. I can see it. I can see it. It's all over. Hold it. I'm taking a stand now. And the whole world will know. A man with stillness and blackness all around him. A man who would no longer do anything for anybody anymore. A man refusing. Refusing to have anything to do with the world. And the world would never intrude. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey. What? You see him? Mr. Lenny just came inside. He just came in. You didn't see him? I guess it wasn't meant to be. I'll just have to keep waiting. Yeah. Here's the lad. You wait him out. Don't worry. It's still okay. It wasn't meant to happen. When the time is right, it'll happen. It won't be long. Some very serious thoughts came into my mind of leaving. Abandoning the idea of going back to the hotel, checking out, getting a cab to the airport, and flying the hell out of there. I would talk myself out of it and then say, go now, before it gets a hold of you again. Hey, Mark, don't make it bad. Hey, Jude. Do you mind? I, I want to sit facing us. Oh, you want to sit here? Keep my eye out. Just in case. Yeah, sure. So, uh, the other night. No, 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 no. Yeah, Jerry and I were waiting. Oh. Um, for you. And then she wanted to go, but of course I wanted to stay. And then I wanted to go, and we were gonna go. And then as we were leaving, cab pulled up and it was John <laughs> just John anyway he talked to us for a bit and um, Jerry bummed one of his cigarettes which was great <laughs> I've read their French You like New York? I guess that's a no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. I just, I mean, it's kind of dirty sometimes. It's nothing like Hawaii. Hawaii. Hawaii is amazing. I'll bet. Hawaii changed my life. It really did. When I first got out there, I was... You know, I, I, I thought I was... I thought I was done. Hawaii saved my life. It saved my life. It did, it really, really did. You know, I'd really like to go there sometime. But I don't think... No, no, no. Don't ever say that. Don't ever say anything like that. 
what? You can do anything. You can do anything. If you set your mind to it, you can do anything. The human mind. The human mind is an incredible thing. Once its mind is made up, it can do anything. Maybe I'll go. No, not maybe, not maybe. You've got to decide in your mind that you will. Okay, I will. You've got to say it. You've got to know it. Say it. Someday I will go to Hawaii. <laughs> Very good. Very good. It's like I told my mother before I left. I knew I was going to do something big. I, I just didn't know if it was going to be good or bad. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Do you want to go someplace with me? You and me, we could just leave right now. Just go. Just get out of here right, right now. now. What do you say? Yeah, we could go. <laughs> can't just leave right now. Why the hell not? Yeah, we could, we could plan a day trip or something. You know, she took me out the way no, there. No, 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 not like that. Then, there, then there'd be cabs and, and elevators and all that crap. We have to go now. We have to go now. But I, I, I have stuff to do. Just forget it. I don't even know why the hell I said it. We're not gonna go anywhere. You should. Hey, shouldn't we be closer? How come you never wait inside there or anything? Sometimes it's good not to be right there. You know, right there when people come out. Besides some of the best times, when John's leaving Central Park, there's this coffee shop that he goes to. It shows that he's real. Oh. Oh, hey, see that guy right there? That's John's assistant, Frederick. We yeah. him? Yeah. out in focus this time. Last time was a little blurry. No, you gotta, you know, I got a dark room. I tried to catch him, but he saw me. He went inside, he got away. Um, this is my friend. He's a Beatles fan from Hawaii. Oh, hey, Hawaii. Cool, man. How's it hanging? Paul. Paul's a photographer. You trying to catch somebody? That fellow over there is John Lennon's assistant. Oh, Freddie. He's, uh... He's, uh, you should meet him. Yeah. I'm just here to get John Lennon's autograph. So, you gonna do any touristy stuff? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. No. Well, you know why they call this building the Dakota? Because uh, when it was first built in the 1800s, there was nothing up here, it was just farm. And they're like, well, if you lived up here, you might as well be living out in Dakota. I don't even think Dakota was south of North Dakota yet. It was just like a territory. And they also, they, uh, they shot Rosemary's Baby here. The movie? No, the baby. Yeah, the movie. They shot it here in the Dakota. Uh, oh, wow. Really? 
How you gonna like movies? Oh, it's some I like, some are okay. The Wizard of Oz is is wonderful. Rosemary's Baby is pretty good, I guess. It's not too phony. I didn't like that movie. Why? Because it says everyone who lives in the Dakota worships Satan? Well, yes. Also, because very slow moving, nothing happens till the end. And... Yeah, but Jude, that's Polanski. Well, then I don't like Satan. Hey, wait, wait, wait. That, that, that's the guy. Charles Manson killed his wife. Right? Sharon Tate. Yeah, she was. Pregnant, so. You're beautiful. Hell to scale John Lennon. John Lennon lives in a building where a film about Satan coming to Earth that the director, his wife and child were killed because of a song that John Lennon. Oh my God. This is not a coincidence. Today is the day. Today is the day. That's the way of looking at it. It's no coincidence. Hey, uh, where'd you say you were from again? What? You don't sound like you're from Hawaii. What? He knows. He knows. Get him. Why would you ask me that? Hey, take it easy. I was only at. Why would you ask me something like that? Like that? You don't Why sound like you're from Hawaii. Why would hey, you take it easy. Say that? I was Why only would you say something like that? Like that? Yeah. Why would you ask me something hey, like hey, that? Hey, hey, forget it, man. Forget it. This is a question, man. Did you see him? Did you see that? Hey, you know, I'm. I gotta go. I'm gonna. So I should probably go. <sighs> Hello. Hi. Hi, Sean. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is he your friend? Oh. He's a Beatles fan from Hawaii, hoping to get John's autograph. It's nice to meet you. This is Helen, Sean's nanny. Oh. This is a little heartbreaker. This is Sean. Hi, Sean. I flew all the way across the ocean from Hawaii, and it's an honor to meet you, Mr. Lennon. You better take care of that running nose. You wouldn't want to get sick in this Christmas. Oh, well, it's time for us to go. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> wave, wave bye to Jude. Bye, you. See you soon. Hope you get your autograph. Have a good day. John and Yoko must be so proud. Yeah. Well, I hope you get your record signed, and I hope you listen to it. You're not going to leave yet, are you? We haven't even seen John. Yeah, I know. But it was good seeing you again. <laughs> I got to go. Thanks, but you should stay. I'd love to, but I can't. Well, uh, then stay. You know, I'm tired. No, 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 wait. wait I really wait, wait, should just, go home. Just a little bit longer. I know he's going to come out. I know it, I know it, I know it. Maybe some other time. But I, I, I know he's going to come out. It's got to, you know? I'm sorry, but I can't. Well, please. Please. Wait. I said wait. It was like this crazy stage had been set up and all the actors were coming and going. I was merely an image, 
a tin man playing a Beatles fan, playing an autograph seeker. And underneath I was a boiling cauldron of rage, but no one could tell a goddamn thing. Soon all the other actors would leave, and I would be all alone. I guess it's down to just us diehard beetle holics, huh? Listen about my behavior earlier. It's just I was told you can never be too careful in New York City. I really am sorry. It's all right. It's fine. Thank you, thank you. I didn't want to be waiting out here all by myself. Oh, what, what the hell? You, you start a conversation with the guy, and out of nowhere you get hostile. Well, I'm just testing, I guess. I've been waiting out here for three days. Great. Maybe it's all those, uh, all those stories I've heard. You know, you never know who you're talking to. You're gonna bend your album there. Nobody's gonna steal that here, man. Hey, Jose. How are you? You remember me? Yes. You're from Hawaii. John Lennon, right? That's me, the Beatles fan. <laughs> All that way, again? Hey, do you, do you know Paul? Hey, Paul, do you know Jose? You know Paul? Yeah, I know him. Just the guy dresses up in a maintenance uniform, sneaks into my building and takes pictures. Oh. Shame on you. These are private individuals. Do you know he makes money for this? No. Sure. Man, who they pay for? John Lennon, obviously. Yoko, too. Gilda Radner, Roberta Flack, Lauren Bacall, Paul Simon. It's so strange. You know how when you see people for the first time, even though you know you've seen them before, it's... I mean, John Lennon must be the most famous person in the world, and, and I'd never seen him. Do you remember what I told you last time? You remember? I was definitely going to meet John Lennon. That's what I said, definitely. I said, definitely. I remember. <laughs> and I'm back. I flew all the way back. I spared no expense. I'm ready. I've got, I've got his new album here. And uh, I even got a new pen. Great. You got your book? This isn't just a book. This is everything. Never read it. Supposed to. About some kid, right? Yeah, old Garfield. And what, what happens? Well, this young fella, he leaves school. He runs away and goes on this, this three-day journey through Manhattan and has sense to find himself. But he doesn't find anything but a bunch of phoniness. That... Well, what makes it so great? I mean, that's it? How, how does it end? It doesn't really, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how it ends. It, He's, he's in a mental institution, and he's telling us the story. That's where he's talking to us, in retrospect. 
Just... Just read it. Yeah. But uh, you're limo is ready. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> sure, I'm yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. John coming out? I need you to get me. You know 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 me. Hey, John. wasn't real. Looks like he scored big time. Wow, he put the date on it and everything. Big stars don't usually put the dates on things, do they, when they sign them? No, I don't think they do. Oh, wow, this is really, really unique. Yeah, I'm saying, now what you gotta do is get it framed. You, you were taking pictures. Right here. Did you take one of me and John? Did you? I think, Did you take one of me and John? I think I might have. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh my God. I would. I'd do anything for that picture. I, I'd give you a. Uh, I'd give you fifty dollars for it. Okay, man. Calm down. Look. Uh, uh, look can I get it tonight? Come on, I have to have it tonight. Have to. I, I don't know about tonight. I live in Jersey. It's kind of far. Well, then how about tomorrow? I'll meet you here. I'll meet you right here, and I'll give you $50 for it. I swear to God I will. Yeah, okay. And say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Come on, say it tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I'll meet you here. And I'll give you $50 for the photo of John Lennon. Wait, did they see this back home? They're not gonna believe it. But they'll have to. Guess so. Hey, hey, Jose. Look what I've got. You see that? Oh, no. Very nice. Oh, yeah, congratulations, mi hermano. I knew it. Pretty fine. You did it. Thank you. I knew it. I knew it. You remember? Good for you, good for you. Hey, Fred, check this out. This guy came all the way from Hawaii and got John to sign his album. Check it out. Congratulations, man. It's great. It's really, it's brilliant. Hey, thanks for stopping. Do you know when they'll be back? Do you? Take it easy, go back. Hey, they, they, they have to come back tonight, right? Well, what time do you think they will? It's hard to say. If they just went to dinner, they'll be 
back in about an hour, but if they went to the studio, they could be gone all night. Okay. And, you know, I think, I'm thinking they probably went to the studio. In fact, I'm sure of it, so, uh, congratulations. Good night. Don't, don't, don't leave yet. What, why not? They could be back any minute. What if John forgot something? What if, what if, what if, what, what if, if I'm gonna go? Don't, don't. Look, come on. They'll be back before midnight, I know it. Look, I'm coming back tomorrow with your photo, all right? Okay? Good. You got a real primo autograph from John Lennon. Go get some rest, okay? Just a little longer, please. Going home. I, I know I flew off the handle earlier. You just can never be too careful, you know? Hey, it's okay. You were right, you were right. I, what? Take the hour. I'm not from Hawaii. And go. I'm from Georgia originally. I, I grew up in a suburb just outside of Atlanta, Decatur, Georgia. That's great, man. Yeah, I should have said something earlier, but I guess it was the southern accent, huh? Yeah, that was it. It was the southern accent. Come on, come on, come on. Wait with me, wait with me. Just wait a little while. You saw it didn't happen. No. Just... Just you and me. I, I know I'll... I'll take the pictures this time. If you have a camera, you won't be able to shoot him. I, I know how to handle the camera. He has to stay. I, I Get your hands off the camera. Get him to camera. stay. If you're taking pictures, you can't pull out a gun. I'll take your picture with John Lennon. I bet you never had that before, huh? No, I didn't. Hey, good night. It'll be back before midnight. Oh. I know it, I know it, I know he will. Hey, what if you never see him again? What if he goes to Spain or something? What if something happens to him? I can see it. You're sitting on the sofa knowing what almost happened, knowing that you could have done it. No, you do it. You do it. You liar. I swear my mother. You see me at all. What are these mine? You got an album sign, just go. Get in the next taxi, just go, 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 go! Don't do it. You liar. That's not what we're here for. That's not what we're here for. He signed your record and he was nice. Put the date on and everything, he was kind. But I want to kill him, he's mine. I want him. Help me, devil. Leah, give me the power. No more. That's what I have to do. You coward, you phony! Taxi, go home. You got your autograph. Go home, frame it, put it on the wall, put it on the wall! Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. There's no place like home. Go home, go home.
I will do it. If you give me the opportunity, I will do it. That's all I want to tell you about. We have arrested Mark David Chapman for the homicide of John Lennon. Today, multitudes mourn the shocking and untimely death of a legend. The tragic slaying of John Lennon spawned an unimaginable sense of grief among those of every age. Mark David Chapman, the alleged killer of John Lennon, has been taken to Bellevue Hospital where he will remain under close watch as he is known to have attempted suicide before. I can tell you about how they took me down to the police station and paraded me in front of the media and all and how they put me in this goddamn place and how <laughs> things got really crazy for a while but I'm not interested in any of that stuff anymore. It's not important. I think John Lennon, personally for me, stood for as a symbol of love and peace on the planet. I think of John Lennon as, a, as an artist, and he belongs to my generation. And I don't understand why he was killed. They keep asking me. If I really think I am the catcher in the rye. It's such a stupid question. It's dumb, I, I swear to God it is. I know no matter what anybody says, I have the strength and knowing. The paragraphs and sentences of that book were flowing through my brain and entering my blood influencing my thoughts, my actions. My very soul was breathing between the pages of the catcher and the rye. I was there for three days. And it was a Monday. Pretty near 
Christmas. In New York City. And now I'm here. Sitting right here. Talking to you. Hello. 